Willie, Willie, yeah. Clyde, Arlen, and Richard, me, Anglin, and L.C. You were just one of the babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm third in the bottom. Yeah. Now my mother had another baby, Leroy. He died when he was six months old. He had the heart of a bowel trouble. Oh, he what's was, that? He, he was six months old when he died. Is that, that was, here in this area? Me and him would have been between Anglin. Uh -huh. But Anglin was next to me because him was going to have made four years older than her I was. Now, if the baby had lived, it would only be about, all the barons are about 18 months in between. Oh, I'm curious about this. Your your mom and dad got married. Where were your grandparents? Did they not, they obviously they did, didn't alive. live they here. I don't even know whether they alive or dead then. I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Well, I'm on a dead, dead end there. So I are we. So are we. So i tell you one thing. I know my mother and father used to have to buy coffee beans and and roast them in the oven before they could make their coffee and they had to grind them up to make them food, put them in the coffee pot. That was My the old day. goodness. Green, green coffee beans is what all you bought. You didn't buy, they didn't store it, they didn't sell them, they were just coffee beans. Uh-huh. Hmm. Now that's, that's the day they roughed it. They did rough it. I'd like to know more about that covered wagon trip. Do you remember anything else about your what your mom might have told you about that. Well, they no, came from Wisconsin. I think they had to worry about the Indians too because they a long way. That's why yeah. the Indians were going big too. But, you know, they used to attack the Indians, the wagon trains and all that stuff. But that didn't happen then? No, well, they might have happened, but they, she made she lived through it. That's all I know. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm a pretty good historian. You, you've got a lot of, yeah, you've got a lot of good memories. Okay. Um, what do you yeah. remember about growing up? What was your mom like? Was she kind to you? My mother used to let her hair down and went clean down there to her hips down here. She had beautiful, beautiful. hair. Beautiful. She kept it up and tied in a knot on How her. did she lose her hair? I guess when she got sick with arthritis, fever, you know. She, 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 it was a out, fever. You know, I was, yeah, people were sick. Uh-huh. When I was growing up, she had beautiful hair go clean down to her, down her hips. She used to turn it loose, you know, let it air out of Washington. Uh-huh. She'd fill it back up. What was your dad like when he wasn't drunk? Huh? What was your dad like when he wasn't drunk? Oh, he was a good Irishman, all that. Right. No, was he a good Irishman? No, the last ten or fifteen years, he had a big knot on his head. Never did know what it was. He never did know nothing about it. it my dad, a, my dad had one of those yeah, knots yeah, on his head. Had one up there, big knot. I don't know if Carr remembers. Uh huh. Uh huh. So he was a pretty good guy when when he wasn't. That guy was rough though. I he, mean, he, I got big hands to my side, but he, boy, he had hands as big as both of mine. He did. Big hand. You know, cowboy milking cows and all that stuff, you get big, you get grip and then you get strong doing that. What all did he do as a cowboy? I mean, what did that entail? Well, I guess after he married Mama, he, he quit that and started farming. My father farmed all the time after all those kids were growing. Uh huh. So that was what he do when he was farming. I know you guys pick cotton. I was a cotton picker in our family. I could pick 500 pounds a day. I'm the only one. No way. Yes, sir. I used to pick 500 pounds of cotton a day. Arla used to get so mad at me, he'd put rocks on my head. Yeah, I used to But rocks to slow me down because I picked so much more cotton than them. Now, who got the cotton in the face? Huh? Who got the cotton in the face? Do you remember that? What do they do? Hmm? Well, my dad told me that they used to tease you guys and do something with the cotton and then put it in your well, face. That's, well, that's one thing he used to do. Arlen used to put big cotton of dirt on my sack to cause it like a nine foot sack wasn't hard enough to drag anyway. He had to put that on to hold you down. <laughs> I know I used to get my sacks full. I'd get the side and put it in my feet and shove it down further so I'd get put in more cotton. No. Sometimes you had to walk a quarter of a mile, you know, to wet in the wagon. Uh huh. So that was the way you guys made money. Was by picking you got, cotton. You got a dollar, dollar a hundred picking cotton. Dollar a hundred pounds. And, yeah, that's good. Good. Lord, can you remember when Daddy was planting balls all?